right, the camera is rolling. This is the footage that comes straight out of my camera without it being graded. And this is the graded version. So, well, that's the difference, isn't it? Um, basically, that's what today's video is about. Welcome to Outer Creative. My name is Felix, and today we're talking about log or logarithmic footage or video. Log is basically a picture profile that has a greater dynamic range than uh, standard picture profiles. It puts the shadows more towards the midtones and the highlights as well and that means that the data has more bit depth so you can do more and it has more flexibility for you to work with that in post so you can use it to change saturation punch contrast or change a color value entirely you do this with a LUT uh, a LUT is also called a lookup table and this basically uh, gives in gets in the uh, values from your recorded footage and with a preset that's called a LUT you can therefore change all the values to the values that you want them to be. This can create a certain style or feeling and not only movies do it but YouTubers do it as well. For example, you have Peter McKinnon that almost feels like he is in a, a rich coffee bar with uh, rich blacks and, and it looks overall really professional. And you have, uh, for example, YC Imaging that has a really nice colors popping out and his skin tones look so good. Uh, you have Make Art Now that changes color values entirely and then you have the famous Sam Calder uh, teal and orange that is going trending like crazy. And most of these YouTubers also sell their own LUTs but you can get them for free or even create them yourself if you want. Rec 709 is the basic term for the correct colors in footage when it comes to film. Camera brands have different log profiles. Uh, just to name a few, Canon has C-Log, Sony has S-Log 2 and 3, Panasonic was being creative and he created V-Log. Um, I'm using the Panasonic G5 and just so you know, you need to have the right LUTs uh, to uh, convert your log to Rec 709 because they all work different. Uh, there are even some different tricks for the certain brands and certain log types. You have a couple tricks for every camera brand. For example, uh, the two stops rule where you overexpose by two stops for S-Log to get better footage. There's a difference between 8-bit and 10-bit footage and every camera um, is different in that. So if you're using a camera and you're not sure if you're recording 8-bit or 10-bit you should definitely check that because 10-bit provides way more colors than 8-bit does and that means that 8-bit can create color bending so a couple tips when shooting log um, clip the highlights not the shadows because I know we're being taught that you're not supposed to do that but you can easily get back uh, the highlights well not easily if you don't clip it too much but you can rather get back the highlights but if you have noisy shadows, it's going to be a lot harder. So that's also why the two stop rule is there for S-Log to get a little more stops. So get a little more exposure in the highlights and boost the, the general exposure a little up uh, so that you won't have nasty shadows. So if you're using a green screen and want to key that in post, it's better to use uh, your normal color profiles, your default color profiles than log. Um, you can even monitor log um, inside your camera or with an external recorder so you can see what it will look like when you apply the LUT in post. If you're on a time pressure, don't use log because um, it's going to be way harder to even grade everything and make sure everything looks nice and make sure you don't combine Rex, regular Rec 709 footage with log footage because it's going to be a lot harder to make everything appeal the same. Log is definitely one of my favorite features of filmmaking because you can be so creative with how your colors will look. There are a lot of different movies that create really different scenes and, and, and feelings just with playing with the colors. It's a really important aspect that a lot of people forget about filmmaking. So therefore I also wanted to make this video. If you want to try out DaVinci Resolve, you can get it for free and also play with, with colors. It has, it has great uh, grading possibilities. I went all the way to Germany with a friend of mine to film some some footage to show you guys uh, what log can do. So have fun watching.
Thank you for watching. Again, this was How to Creative and see you in the next one.